Okay guys, now that I have your attention, I'm Richard Holder and welcome to the channel. I'm about to give you financial advice for the first time ever. Here's what I want you to do. Go out and buy every Ford GT500 blower, whether it's a 5.4 or a 5.8 version, buy every one of the blowers you can get your hands on. The reason I say that is last time I did a video on a low buck blower upgrade for an LS, the price went through the roof. Go buy them right now. Okay, what's this all about? Well, here's the story. Tom Demuse from Demuse Engineering has come up with an intake manifold and adapter plate. That allows us to install either the M122 supercharger from the 5.4 liter GT500 or the even bigger 2.3 liter Trinity blower from the 5.8 liter GT500. That's right, you can install those blowers that guys are getting rid of used because they've already upgraded them for Whipples and Kenny Bells and 2650s. By the way, Tom also has a kit to do a 2650 and might also have stuff for Hemis, but that's another video for another day. Right now, we're gonna concentrate on taking his kit, installing a 2300. This one is actually a five liter Coyote from Ford Racing, but it also fits. We're gonna put this blower on my Junkyard 5.3 with a Brian Tooley Racing Truck Norris cam to find out if the Truck Norris cam actually is also a blower cam. And guess what? I think that it is. We're gonna go ahead and put the blower on, run it, find out how much boost it makes and how it's going to do. Then I'm gonna run a whole string of tests. That's right, so let's get going. Okay guys, it's time to put this on that. Before we can do it, we gotta pull off the truck intake. Installation of the blower required a few modifications. We did a little persuasion on the water pump tube to provide clearance for the intake manifold. It was also necessary to clearance the backside of the alternator power steering bracket. I shaved down the head of this bolt for clearance for the blower belt. To supply the blower, Demuse Engineering supplied billet fuel rails. Our 80 pound injectors required the use of spacers. They also supplied this idler bracket to improve belt wrap on the supercharger. The blower manifold would not clear the factory valley cover bolts, so we recessed these button heads. Our supercharger came equipped with a 2.75 blower pulley. The blower was run with a factory crank damper. A single belt was used to drive the supercharger, alternator, power steering, and water pump. The blower kit relied on the factory belt tensioner. Using a series of adapters, we installed the manual truck throttle body onto the supercharger. The first adapter was designed to accept a 102 millimeter LS throttle body. The next adapter reduced this down to the three bolt truck throttle body.
The final step was to install the manual 5.3 liter truck throttle body. After installation of the throttle body, we made sure to hook up the wiring harness to the TPS and IAC. A quick check to make sure we had wide open throttle and we were ready to rock. Okay guys, we got our blower installed up on the 5.3 liter L33. The question is, how much will this Chevy throttle body restrict the Ford blower? That's right. I said what I said. Before installation of the blower with the Demuse Engineering intake manifold and adapter for the GT500 blower, we wanted to run our test motor naturally aspirated. Our test motor was a 5.3 liter L33 that I got from a local wrecking yard. I happened to find an all aluminum version, which was awesome. We have since upgraded it with valve springs. I also installed a Brian Tuley Racing Truck Norris cam. We ran this combination with inch and seven eighths long tube headers. We had the factory long runner truck intake manifold on there and the truck throttle body. We ran it all with the Holly HP management system and we ran this on pump gas 91. Run in this manner after optimized tune, meaning 29 to 30 degrees and then the air fuel was in the 11 or rather in the 12.2 to 12.5 range. This thing produced 427.8 horsepower at 6200 and peak torque checked in at 415.8 foot pounds of torque. The reason I run it naturally aspirated before we put the blower on is I wanted to make sure that the motor was in good condition before adding boost to it. If we have a problem after we add boost, we don't know whether that's the blower combination or whether it's the naturally aspirated motor running at NA. This thing worked perfect. Repeated from the last time that I ran it, it works great. So here's what happened after we installed the 2.3 liter blower using the Demuse Engineering adapter set. Remember, go buy those blowers right now before the price goes up. Here's what happened after we installed the supercharger. The peak power jumped up to 657 horsepower and 677 foot-pounds of torque. Remember, this thing was kind of strangled with this throttle body, with this stock Silverado early truck throttle body, 78 millimeters. And trust me, this thing jumps way over 700 horsepower after we put a real throttle body on it. But I ran it in this configuration. We also ran this on E85. Remember, this combination did not have ring cap put in it. I just ran this thing right from the wrecking yard. And this thing was making almost 15 pounds on the load in or about two, well, less than 15 pounds, about 200 kPa. And then that dropped down to a little less than 190 kPa. So we did have a pretty sizable drop during the run. Most of that owing to the fact that we have a very small throttle body restricting what this blower could put out. And we know that that's the case because in the second video, I'm going to show you what happens when we go to a larger throttle body. And this thing really steps up its game over 700 horsepower with just a bigger throttle body. Let's get to our conclusion. Okay, guys, what did we learn running this low buck blower combination on our 5.3 liter? Well, the first thing we learned is it obviously it works. Running the 2.3 liter blower, you could also run the M122 or the 2.3 from the GT500. This one was for a 5 liter Coyote application, but both the others fit, and that's what it was designed for. Running the intake and adapter with the blower works very well on the LS. Although I did saddle it with the stock truck throttle body, but I did that on purpose. What I wanted to simulate was if a guy was going to put this on a 5.3 liter, he might use his factory truck throttle body that came with it. You know, low buck approach. But don't worry, we're not done there. There's a lot more power left in this blower, and I'm gonna show you just how much comes from throttle body upgrades. That's right, we ran the stock truck throttle body, we ran a fast 102 using all kinds of different adapters, and then I really stepped up to a big oval throttle body for a Super Cobra Jet from Acufab. Whoa! For all the power. More testing 
and more testing and more testing coming up. In addition to the throttle bike test, I also ran different camshafts. We ran the Truck Norris cam and I ran a Sloppy Stage 2 cam. We also found out what happens if you wire the bypass valve open. How much boost do you use? And yes, I listened to the 91 octane guys. I've got a test on 91 versus E85 and I'm gonna show you the tune. I'm a troller, make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, go out and buy all those GT500 blowers now at, because they won't be available after the video comes out.